Hey everybody, I'm going to show you in this video how to use a template in Power Automate to send an email when a task in Planner is completed. To start out, sign into flow.microsoft.com or Power Automate uh, using your work or school account. It's very important that you don't use a personal Microsoft account because you won't have access to Planner using that. So once you're signed in, on the left hand side click on Templates. And from here we're just going to search for Send Email Planner Completed. There we go, and we get two results. We're gonna use this first one, uh, just so you know the difference though. The first one is gonna be for any task that's completed in a specific plan. The second one is only gonna be for tasks that you created. So when those are completed, you can send an email. But we're gonna do it for all tasks in a particular plan using this first template. All right, once you choose that, it's gonna ask you which accounts you wanna to use to use Planner and Outlook. So whichever ones you see here are what it's gonna assume you wanna use. You could change those if you wanted to by adding a new connection here, but we're just going to use the, the defaults for this video. All right, we click on continue there, and then it's got a, a lot of it built for us already. All you really have to do at this point is pick the group and the plan to which you want this flow to apply. So for my group, I'm going to choose my help desk, and for my plan, I'm going to choose the only one available, ticket work. Now before we go any further, I just kind of want to show you that plan so you can see what we're working with. So I'm going to switch my tabs and show you ticket work. It's very simple. There's just four buckets. There's a task in each one. So back in flow then, now that we've picked that plan, we're ready to configure the email. Now in the two line, we're just going to put my own address here, but this could be anybody. Anybody with an email address can be used there. And then notice that the email came pre-configured with the task title and then it's going to say task complete. That's the subject of your email. Then you're going to see the, the title of the task, who completed it, and when they completed it. Now there's an error here that you may notice, and that's an open bracket. So we can just go ahead and delete that there, and then we'll just save our flow. So there are additional changes you can make here, of course. For example, you may want to add additional details to that email just by hitting enter and maybe typing some more text here. There we go. You can make it say whatever you want to. Maybe you don't need to see when it was completed. You can just close that out, right? And then we don't need that line at all. So totally up to you what goes there and what stays. And then if you do want to use additional details from the task, just use dynamic content off to the right. Notice you've got a few more fields over here that you could bring in. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and save that. We'll make sure that it works. Perfect. All right, so that's saved. So then we're going to go to that planner plan. And to test it, of course, we just need to complete a task. So I'm going to complete this decommission server task. Awesome. I feel productive. <laughs> now we just go back to the flow. And the first time this runs, it may take a little longer than usual. So we're just going to go back to the flow details page where we can see the 28 day run history down here. And I'm just going to click refresh every once in a while until I see that pop up as a successful run. So we'll check back in here in just a moment. All right, so we can see in 30 milliseconds that flow ran already. We'll go verify, we'll check our email, and here we go. So here's the task title, here's who completed it, and then here's that extra text that I added. Uh, now I have another video that shows you how to replace this user ID with the actual display name, so be sure to check out that. It's linked in the description here and in the blog post that's associated with this video. So good luck, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.